Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a little unboxing and overview of the Army Ornament R85A2, which is a replica of the HK L85A2 or SAA British Assault Rifle. So I'm excited to show to you guys, I've pretty much accumulated a full British Army airsoft loadout, cutting out most of the unnecessary crap like the heavy helmets, the electronic headsets, communications gear, heavy plate, um, armour plates, stuff like that. I've got the plate carrier, I've got the BDUs, I've got the replica guns, I've got the Glock 17, and this is the final piece of the puzzle for my full loadout. Most of the stuff's been acquired through second hand or even new from suppliers. The guns are all brand new. So if you want to see more of this loadout, be sure to subscribe and I'll show you more of it in the future videos. Now the body of this replica is made of embossed steel sheet, which gives it a really realistic feeling. I've held the real version when I was doing a brief little bit of time with the reserves and it is really realistic. I can't stress how much how good this replica feels. It's got other metal parts including the outer barrel, fixed iron sights, carrying handle as well as the magazine. Now the stock has a thick rubber pad just like the real steel as well. Nice little touch. The parts such as the handguard, the pistol grip and the cheek pad are made of reinforced polymer. Now, this is sturdy polymer, it's not cheap ABS plastic you get on the much cheaper spring models. Now to talk about the barrel. Since this gun is a bullpup design, it allowed for the rifle to have a 510mm long barrel inside. That makes the replica a total length of about 790mm. Once you remove the carrying handle on the top, you gain access to a 20mm mounting rail. Usually in the real steel version this is dedicated for the SUSA optical site, but for airsoft functionality it's better just to buy an ACOG. Inside the pistol grip there's a small compartment which you could store, I don't know, a packet of skittles. Honestly it's, it's quite a small compartment, I'm not sure what you'd have put in there. Maybe Allen keys or batteries, something like that. On the front you've got an implementation of a rail conversion kit. It's got quad rail system, 22mm rails, Picatinny rails, where you could attach an assortment of different accessories, flashlights, tactical grips, optical sights, whatever you fancy. So that pretty much does it for the unboxing and rundown of the Army Ornament R85A2 Assault Rifle. Once I've tested it out and I've seen its pros and cons, I'll get back to you and I'll make an update video so you guys can see what my experiences are with the weapon. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.